to see the coils magnetically oscillate you would require two copper coils strong magnets wood pencils etc now take a piece of rubber with a hole in the middle and fix a screw in it and stick a strong neodymium magnet to the head of the screw you need two such pieces of rubber with screws and magnets now make two holes in a plank of wood and stand two pencils erect this is how the stand would look like and in this you fix the two rubbers the rubbers can be moved left or right or up and down so that you can exactly orient the magnets and now on a glue stick wind 200 turns of insulated copper wire 35 gauge and after winding remove the coil anchor it and then scrape the ends of the insulation so they, that you see bare copper make two such coils and then you join them this is also called as coupling the coils together one end of one coil to the other and also the second end of the coil to the second end of the other coil in the next picture you can see this coupling much more clearly now hang them by a wooden plank and then fix this the two holes in the plank in the pencil now ensure that the coils are inside the magnets concentric and they don't touch the magnets now just oscillate one coil and the other coil will also vibrate or oscillate in sympathy now this is not because of vibrations but because of induced current when a coil vibrates inside a magnet there's a small emf generated in this and this goes to the other coil makes it magnetic and this is attracted and repelled by the other magnet so the other coil also starts to oscillate you can have great fun with these oscillating coils you oscillate the right hand coil with your one hand and the other coil oscillates because of the induced current with this experiment you can understand electromagnetism in great depth